Good to see you again. Today's topic is about 3D design, the art of form. Before explaining, I want you to take a deep breath, to touch a nice block or jump up to reach the leaf on a branch, just to get your substances awake and to remind you that art will never be perceived through eyes only. So what is 3D design? Virtual game characters, sculptures, the answer is they all belong to it. But the core idea that make them a 3D design is the intention of the designer trying to recreate the way things exist in space and how it's interacting with the surroundings, include us. An artist David Nash's most celebrated work, The Wooden Boulder, is the best evidence. For eight years, David has carved a boulder out of the oak tree and let time and nature polish his story. At the beginning, he was trying to get the boulder back to the studio. But as he recalls, a moment where he sees the petals from the wild palm tree beside the boulder covers it up, his perspective has suddenly changed. It was lovely, as he said. The boulder has told me, if you take me back to the studio, I will dry out and I will crack. The story will be over. Since then, David was no longer determined to get the wood back to his studio. He realized the journey itself is the artwork. The message that a 3D object carries, therefore, is not given by us, but by its own existence in time. If David's work was purely artifact, then the next example, I would say, has achieved the perfect balance between artistic and practical usage of 3D design. East Devlin, a stage designer and an artist who is known for creating large-scale performative sculptures and environments that fuse music, language, and light. She has designed a stage for the drama Chimerica, played in London at Almada Theatre in 2013. In this work, she inserted a performance space in a semi-enclosed square stage and created contrast in color, scale, and projection to tell the story with a purely bystander's perspective. The square compresses the time and space in the story to make the stage being just a cut off from someone's real life. Also because it's an isolated space, everything happening on the outer surface just seems like the extension of the character's mind the whole scene therefore becomes character-driven and blends in the boundary between reality and fiction. However, 3D design has wide use. Except for writing diary for the nature or monitoring one's life, it is also the only medium that could adapt into the outer world. This is clearly shown in an architect Björk Engel's work, The VM Houses, he designed in Copenhagen in 2005. In this example, you can see the two buildings are in the shape of a letter V and M from the aerial view. It was designed to maximize the views of surrounding landscapes and daylight. Not just for the balconies on the outside, but also the dead corridors within. It zigzagging navigated the path of light, using up the natural resources given to suit people's living needs. Inside of the building, it has also got more than 80 unique apartment types out of the total 225 units. It was mind-blowing to me that the rooms are set in such an irregular style as three-dimensional Tetris game, but at the same time perfectly enrich the living experience of the residents. 3D design is complicated because it's the manipulation of our sensations through physical properties. Top, bottom, inside, outside, new, old, life or death. Three-dimensional design is born from the very initial state of being for everything. Then the interactions between them would give them identity which allows us to react and feel. It is our sensations being designed. Those physical properties are the roots of our feelings. Hope my video is understandable and somewhat useful to you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.